Hi everyone, welcome to my second video of more in-depth view on the Samsung Galaxy S2. If you recently bought the Samsung Galaxy S2 and you're still within your 30 days, the first thing I'll recommend is to return it and get the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. It gives you the same exact features, but bigger screen, slightly bigger screen without compromising the size. I've compared it. It's basically a hair thicker, but just a hair thicker and a little, a little bit like a like two hairs wider. Uh, it's the the new one is 1.5 instead of uh, 1.2. It has little minor, very very minor enhancements, but makes the phone much better and it's cheaper. This phone, when it first came out, the retail price was 200. The new one is 150. It, I was so so surprised because it was released one month after. Now the new one's also LTE, so you get the faster speeds of of surfing and browsing and downloading. So I will highly recommend it if you're still within your 30 day grace period. Now I just got another Samsung Galaxy S2, so I'm gonna go through the steps on how to root it. SIM unlock and install the new update the, to uh, Android version 2.3.5 and if you notice I'm also using a different camera the the flip is just awful it's completely awful it doesn't auto focus for you and it's just awful all right so first thing first things first if you have a brand new phone from from the factory you could just go through these steps if not I will highly recommend making a backup. First things first, download Samsung Keys. You could just uh, go to Samsung's website and download it. Basically, it will have the drivers to communicate with the phone. And without that, you can't send anything to it because your Windows will not recognize it. All right, once Samsung Keys is installed, all the links will be, will be provided to the side or below. Once Samsung Keys is installed, you could go ahead and then download the ROMs. Now there's two ways to do it. Traditionally, it's to uh, install an insecure ROM, a cracked ROM basically, and that allows you to then use Super One Click, which then you could one click unlock and root. I mean, to one click root your phone, and then to unlock you, it's it's very surprisingly easy. Once it's rooted, you could then download the app to do it for you. Before you have to go through all these hex keys and and look for certain values, but now it's just easy. Just make a backup, press a button, unlock, stick in any SIM, you're good to go. And once that's done, you could then update to from two three four to two three five. Um, it gives you minor performance uh, enhancements such as improved battery, CPU usage. Uh, one thing I actually don't like about 235 is your your home your home button before when you double 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 tap it it will give you a list of your task manager. Now it won't do that and also the home key doesn't vibrate anymore. All other keys vibrate but the home key doesn't anymore. Alright so first things first if if you made a backup or or if you download it, um, if you just got it and download the keys, pop in the battery. Now the first thing is to put the phone into a download mode. To do that, to do, to do that, first thing you do is turn it off. You hold the power button and then you shut it down, and then you hold volume up, volume down simultaneously while plugging in the USB. Once that's done. This, uh, if it's the first time, the CPU should, your computer should recognize it as a, as a Samsung Galaxy phone. Once that's done, you can open up uh, Odin. Now, the two steps was either uh, one to two, load an insecure ROM and then super one click it. Now, the second one that I just recently found was. There's a site that actually did it for you. So they uploaded a cracked ROM that's been rooted already. So once you Odin that onto the phone, it will basically be good to go from the get-go. You don't need to use a super one click. All the links and everything will be included to the sides, so you could just download directly. It's up to you which one you would choose. 
I would personally choose the the, the, the latter since um, it saves you an extra step and it's faster and when I used it the first time uh, I kept getting stuck on like step 6 step 7 when I tried to do that plus super one click so this other ROM is so much better uh, once that's done when you start it up you might see like a a triangle that's normal that means the the phone has been uh, rooted it's not stock ROM so you see a triangle here when starting up that's completely fine and then if you want to get 235 you just then download a, a, a Odin self extracting installer uh, it will have the secure ROM for you and then that will take off this yellow triangle and it will also update it to a stock 235 which is what you would get anyway but since the, the update file is over 200 megabytes you might exhaust your whole month's data usage just on that so it's better to just download it yourself and install it and it's more stable now I did say so I'm show you how to sim unlock your phone first thing you do is go to Android market and download Galaxy S unlock there's ver there's various variants Galaxy S2 unlock this unlock that unlock sim unlock but this is the one you want to get because other ones I've tried it and after 15 20 minutes it will just come back as an error now you cannot unlock your phone unless it's rooted because it needs super user permission to snoop around and find the actual keys and then change the bits around so that it's unlocked and once it's done you can pop in any sim card you know you just forget the AT&T put in T-Mobile if you want so once you download this app uh, you can select the thing and obviously you want the, the Galaxy S2 and then just easy steps first you just click the you just click it one by one first one you click it basically makes a backup just in case second one you click it basically will, will root it for you and the third one it will make a backup of the rooted file just in case you need it and the ones on the bottom basically is to uh, restore now the app is called Galaxy S Unlocker I mean Galaxy S Unlock it's like a dark purple icon and once that's done this phone right now is unlocked once that's done you can, you can shut it off and then use the use the Odin self extractor now to to root this phone once you uh, once you click the link to download the Odin file as well as the ROM file you just load the ROM into the PDA section it will have um, a bunch of sections on on there as to which which um, let me just open it up for you Alright, so, so this file is um, older version 185, ignore the Epic 4G, it works on almost all. So here on the second option, PDA, that's the one you want to select the ROM file for, not, not the phone. Uh, you might be tempted to use the phone, but no, don't, don't do that, uh, you use the PDA. So basically you load the ROM, which will also be included in the link, and then once it's plugged in and in the download mode, which is, which which I explained earlier basically up and down volume up and down at the same time you plug in the USB cable it will take you to that download screen just hit volume up to accept and you're in a download uh, download Odin mode Odin is basically like a disk imaging program that um, that this uh, that they use so once it's done hit start and then you'll say it'll, it'll first turn blue and it'll, it'll do its thing and then it'll turn green and it'll say pass and then you're good to go 
and then when that's done you will open up the open up this one which will turn your your Galaxy S2 from an H to a J which is 234 to 235 again it's very very simple just when you open this the, 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 the executable just hit start and it will do everything for you and that's that's it and the, the first the first route basically will take 10 seconds 10 seconds to do this one since it's it has installed a, a pretty big file if you could see that here it's like this is half a gig already so the actual actual ROM file for for this is like is there you go 480 the the exe file is over 500 and that will turn your stock phone into the it will, it will turn into a stock 235 which is uh, which is then the update which does make it better after updated to 235 uh, my standby time is has been about four days with uh, with with moderate usage and and I've gotten a improved uh, battery time from it now what I do recommend also is to get yourself a, a little Samsung charger that I have here you could just flip this open it comes with a spare battery as well and just swap it and then when you charge it charge it and you don't have to plug your phone in all the time and it works great and I believe I got it on Amazon for about 30 bucks and it comes with a spare battery so the spare battery itself on Amazon is like 20 30 so this gives you the charger and the spare battery it's pretty worth it to 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 buy something like that well signing off good luck